Hi, I'm Alison McDonald, one of the senior managers for the digital technology team. And today I'm going to be taking you through the new AVM module that's now available in the Blast IQ system. So this consists of three components, the admin portal, Shop Plus Premiere and Insights. So firstly, from the admin portal, uh, you need to be in V3. This uh, allows the AVM admin option to be available if, if AVM is enabled for your site. And then you also need to have your points of interest configured for your site. So these are your monitoring points. Once these are set up, you can then go into the AVM admin section. And what you can see here is your modeling domains and then the available points of interest that you've previously set up. So for vibration modeling domains, you can create a new one. So this is a name, a description, and your minimum and maximum elevations associated with the domain, and then the domain boundary as well. Once your domain is created, as it is here, you can then associate monitoring points with this domain. So you, you get a list here, and then you can associate these and edit the parameters associated with it. So for example, in this one, there are vibration modeling parameters and air blast parameters. So the model can be configured for vibration only or air blast only or both vibration and air blast. So in here, you enable that this monitoring point is available for predictions, and you also enter the, um, the required information to be able to run the model, as well as an associated seed wave, as a seed wave is required for AVM. So this is done for each monitoring point within the domain, and then for each domain as well. So once this is all set up, in Shop Plus is where you, a customer will be able to do their submission of Blast designs to the model. So for example here, this is a design Blast and it's been timed from the Blast IQ menu. We can go in and select a domain. So if you've got multiple domains set up for a site, these will all be available in the domain list here. So you select the domain that you wish to, to submit to. From here, you can also view a job list. So this is all the jobs that have previously been submitted to the model for that site. So it will include your a, a job number, uh, which is created when a job is submitted, uh, the description of your job, its status, when and by who it was submitted, and the number of points of interest that were included. Then to submit a job to AVM, you go to this menu item, and it brings up this submission, submission screen. So it tells you which site you're submitting to and the domain you've previously, previously selected. You can give the job a description, and if you are using a actual loaded whole data, so if you've uh, captured data, for example, in mobile and brought that back into Shop Plus, you can then, this option will then be available for you to choose whether you use actual loaded data for the model. But for this one, we're using design. You then select which monitoring points you wish to submit, for, uh, submit to for vibrations. And then if you have air blast configured, you can also select it for here as well. And then all you do is click submit job. And this will be sent up to the model. So then to view the monitoring results, we change over to insights. So once AVM is enabled for a site, it appears in the, the side menu here so as AVM. And then once you're in, in this module, you get a list of job numbers that have previously been run. So if we go into a job, you can see the, a prediction tab and then a modeling domain tab, which just tells you which domains are set up for the site. 
So within the predictions, we can see the first thing that is brought up is a summary uh, of the job that was submitted. So you've got the job number that you'll also see in Shop Plus, who it was submitted by, and then the summary information of the points of interest and the time that it was submitted, and then a maximum vibration associated with this simulation. You can also see that if you have vibration and air blast configured for it, there's a toggle between the two. Uh, if you only have one or the other setup, you won't have the option to toggle. Um, there's also a summary of each point of interest and the results of the, the simulation for these different points. So you've got your vibration limit, which is defined in the admin portal, what the vibration is at a particular confidence interval. So this can be modified if required and then your mean and standard deviation. Um, below this, we have some graphs around the probability of exceeding uh, a vibration at a certain point of interest. And then we've also got an image of the domain boundary that was set up for this, uh, for this, um, this site, and then the monitoring points associated with it, which also link to the information in the table above it. You can then go into each monitoring point itself to get some more detailed information on the distribution of the prediction. Uh, you can view the modeling parameters that we use for that. And then you have some summary information on the wave, an example waveform and the mean power spectrum. These graph, the example waveform graph, you can interact with by turning information on and off. And you can also zoom the graph and interact with it this way as well. Going back to the summary page, you can also download a job report, which is each, uh, each individual monitoring uh, point of interest is then printed in this job. So thank you very much for listening today and please contact the BlastIQ team if you have any further questions around AVM.